All right, you guys, shoot. I'm out here headed to work. Let's give my cousin drive-by a call. Give my cousin drive-by a call. I just got up. I'm about to lay back down a minute. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> I, had you, I had to warn you. Yeah, I yeah, me. I'll be, I'll be going off. Yeah. <laughs> hey, so what made you buy that uh, fifteen hundred uh, do uh, not duly, but fifteen hundred dollars? Uh, man, it was uh, well, you know, I was looking for a Colorado at first, the Chevy. Yeah. But they wanted over MSRP. They marked them up. Uh, well, I wanted a Ford. Well, you know, I started with a Ford 350, so I done went all over. I've been all over the Ford. And uh, so the 350 was what I wanted, but Ford wasn't taking orders. It haven't been since, like, July. Right. And so cause the factory shut down. And so I wait and wait and wait, and I started, well, I'll go to Chevy. I ain't real keen on a Silverado, but I was like, ah, you know, I need something to kind of pedal around. I get a ZR2, get a, you know, Colorado or something. And then, but they wanted like, and that's about 50 grand, but they wanted like, marking them up like, you know, four or five grand, man, just cause it's, you know, cause it wasn't nothing out there. And I said, man, they ain't messing with that. So I think where they put that new Dodge dealership over on Callahan. Yeah. And uh, of course they had theirs marked up, but they negotiated everybody else. He wants to sell you at MSRP and then mark it up and then add a bunch of crap to it. Right. So even the dealerships that were selling it at MSRP were adding bull crap, like the people in Duluth, Georgia. I forget the dealership's name. Hendricks, I think. He said, now he got, we on the phone now. And he, and I'm saying, listen, I go through my little pitch. Listen, I'm not paying over MSRP. I'm not paying no dealer markups. But, and so this is what I want. I want a ZR2 Chevy Colorado with all the trimmings. I don't want nothing added to it. Uh, yeah, that's fine. The sales manager called me the next day. I was supposed to go down there last Saturday, two Saturdays ago to pick it up. All right, he called me before I leave and tell me this. Okay, is this the deal? We got the, we got the truck at MSRP for Slappy. This dude sent me a text and tells me he charging me seventeen hundred dollars for hood and paint protection. I don't know what hood and paint protection is worth seventeen hundred dollars. To me, that's Armorall. Ain't no Armorall worth no seventeen hundred dollars. <laughs> and he gonna charge me five ninety nine. For the kid, the two front windows. I like, dude, I can get that done down the corner from the corner, corner dude for 125 right? Right. Then he got low jack for seven ninety nine, and and wheel locks for 200 and, and I mean, so, so much crap, dude. You sent to me an MSRP, but you adding this bull crap on top of it. Dude, I'm about to buy that truck with... With five thousand dollars worth of junk added to it, it's just junk. Yeah. He says, "Well, we gotta do this because we come, you know, we come to work, man. It be brand new cars that ain't got no wheels on." Them. And I told him, "He might have to beat out what I was about to say." I said, "Welcome to F in Atlanta, okay? I don't live in Atlanta. I live." In Knoxville, dude. <laughs> we don't have them problems where folks taking factory wheels off cars no. in Knoxville, okay? No, no. You know, so I'm not going to pay you to. I can go buy wheel lock at the local rim shop for $50. Man, why are you, why are you charging me $200? i am like, I'm tripping, man. So yeah. I said, you know, I was on with the Dodge. Dodge talking good. I know you got that old Dodge. Oh, you yeah. stay legal, but it still runs. Oh, yeah. And I, I said, you know what? I'm just going to look at this Dodge. So I went to, so I done went with my pitch to them. And they good. They good with it. The MSRP, 
MSRP, that's fine. But I'm trying to get under MSRP now because I'm like, you know what, if they so easy, I'm going to try to get a $1,000 under MSRP. Yeah. No, man, they call me down. But well, come on, when you get out of work, come on down here. Slappy, I got to the car lot, and the car I'm supposed to be buying. I, I'm walking by a truck, sitting there idling. I'm thinking, man, look, just like the one I'm about to buy. I said, well, that ain't, that ain't it, because ain't no window sticker in the window. So ain't nobody test drive. I went up to the top of the hill. And I saw the cell. He said, yeah, it's on top of the hill. Go out there and check it out. I went up there. Slappy gets an empty slot up there. Yeah. They got... <laughs> I look. That was the car. The car I bought, some older guy that purchased, like, literally an hour before I got there. Oh, man. So I, so I told him, I said, I tell you what, I buy this other limited. We talking about a $80,000 truck. Woo. Limited, everything. I mean, you got everything, every bell and whistle. Alan thought about is on this thing. The next morning, I said, I tell you what, I'll bring you a check tomorrow when I get off work. Big and and uh, it was gone. He called me 10 o'clock that next morning and said, hey, man, that truck you, uh, about to buy, he said, uh, we got a deposit on it. I said, Damn. you kidding me? He said, I said, how are two trucks I'm about to buy sell? He like, dude, at 8 o'clock at night one sold, and by 9 o'clock the next morning the other one sold. I told him, I'm getting off work. I told him, take down my credit card. You taking a damn payment right now on that third one. It was hilarious. Okay. But... But so it was a it, it was a step behind the other two I wanted. But I was like, dude, I can get it. And they took it and they held it for me until I got off and got that I wrote up a check. And that's how I got that got that dodge. I'm gonna pick this up that night. So Monday what? Night. So it's a dodge what? It's a dodge learn me fifteen hundred with a, a five point seven Hemi in it. Hmm. So what does the with one the you Hemi. want got in it that it that it don't? Well, the other the dodge the other limited has okay so this this is the truck i did buy don't have a few items the limited have it don't have the heads up display it don't have the split tailgate the dodge has that opens up like foreign doors yeah yeah it don't have that on it it don't have um uh the air ride suspension Mm. You know, because they got high ride now, we can lift it up like three, four inches. I mean, it, it ride like a high ride, like, like you know, like a low ride. You can drop it down, or you can raise it up. It don't have that on it. And, uh, shoot, man, I think that's about it. Really? Oh, yeah, deployable electric uh, steps on it. It don't it don't have the electric running boards on it. Okay. I got running boards, but they just standard running boards. Right. But I got everything else. So I got the 12-inch display. I got the four-wheel drive. I got the bed liner. I got the the, pan, the dual pane sunroof. So the whole entire roof is a sunroof. Uh, I got the, all the leather with the black. I got the black package. So I got the Larmy, uh, uh level two package on it. So I got a bunch of crap on it. I got 22-inch rims on it. Okay. So I got all the all the bells and whistles. The other one had on it, except for a few bells on the front. Yeah, so I don't have tow hooks on the front, but oh, that's that green. Was like, well, that the color you was wanting, or you was wanting to go with a white? Yeah, no, I wanted to go with that color on on that truck. Okay. Cause they didn't have a um a, a mellow flaky white in stock. They didn't make one, but they didn't have any on that on that lot. Is it leather interior? Yeah, oh, it's fully leather. Oh man, it's like a damn high luxury vehicle. Like a if you if you close your eyes and hop in it, you'd think it was a a Infinity or something or a Lexus or something. Man. I mean, it's leather up. Okay. I mean, it's luxury. Yeah. Mm. Got him. You know. Yeah, they got the little wireless phone charger up front. They put your little phone in there. Yeah. You know, it, it start charging it. Boy, they got it. Well, it's just good up. Is it navigation? Good? Is it gonna have the pool capacity you want to pull that uh, RV? You want to do what? Do what? Oh, uh, no, because it is a half ton. 
So it, it's not anywhere near that Super Duty album can do. So I think the toll package on it is it's right at eight thousand pounds. Right. Like seventy five hundred pound tone limit. I would never put much more than about five behind it anyway. Five or six. Uh, payload capacity is way down from my two fifty. This is the only haul uh, about fourteen hundred. The way it's loaded, because you know, uh, versus my F two fifty can haul like thirty three hundred. Okay. Pounds. So because it, so it is a half ton, so you ain't gonna. I ain't gonna be able to do a whole lot with it. I gotta get a smaller camper. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, get your toy haul if you still talking about buying your bike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can, well, I can get, depends on what it weighs, you know. I can get a smaller toy hauler or possibly, you know, put it in, put something in the bed of it. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a long bed. It. Yeah, I gotta fix four beds. I have to do the measurements on stuff before I start buying stuff. But, yeah. Did those, did those other ones you were looking at, was it a long bed or short bed? Um, actually, the Libanets were a short bed. They were a five-seven bed. They were a little bit short. Yeah. Yeah, but you can't really, you couldn't really tell unless you parked them side by side. Because I had to step back and say, dang, man, that, that thing there, that's a little bit longer. Yeah. Than what, yeah, than the other ones. Well, like you said, you throw a motorcycle back here and you want to throw that, you know, close the tailgate, that... A few inches is uh, serious. No, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I'll do what I can do, man. I got tired of being folk to do work at the house and bring stuff and deliver stuff. So I'm gonna go get me a pickup truck. Well, shit, you didn't have to go buy a brand damn new one, boy. You went out there. <laughs> you went out there and got you a new one, but that, that, that's where you would do it, though, shit. Yeah, go, you know, you say, go, go hard, go home. Yeah, you can't take it with you. That's for sure. No, no, can't take it with you. Can't take it with you. So, yeah. Hey, it's a funny thing. They got that app out there. And I was playing with that app. And, you know, starting it up from the inside of the dealership or whatever, from the little, from the little, from my little cell phone. Yeah. And then I look over there, man, and it, it, that app tells you exactly where that truck is. I got a question. He said, what? I said, I don't make this payment. What happened? He said, we come and get it. I said, I see. You know exactly where it's sitting. He said, all day long. Uh -huh. <laughs> I might have squeezed that in the garage slap. Oh, yeah. And close the door halfway down on it. <laughs> and just, and just, keep, just make sure you work it because you can't hide it. You can't hide it. No. <laughs> Hey, got that GPS. Hey, man, I thought I was at work. Damn. I said, Big Brother riding with me in the in my truck, too. <laughs> He's always watching. You, uh, I always watch. You, you going to put some more wheels on or you going to leave it like that? No, them 22, so I'll, I'll keep them on there. Unless I just, you know me, I, I might see something I like better. Now, I like the limited wheel better yeah. than this five-star type wheel, but... It's a good looking wheel. I mean, so I ain't gonna, I probably ain't gonna do a whole lot. It's blacked out too, ain't it? Yeah, everything black. Oh, yeah, I get the black package for everything that, that, that ain't, that ain't body paint is, is blacked out. I think them are, are, are they, are they rims or are they just, uh, covers over your wheels? No, they rims. They, they like, they like going to the rim shop. Okay. Yeah, they like going to the rim. Them, them real rims. See, where well, they go, they, as long as they black, I'm be you winning when they black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoot, they. I mean, I, I got the black package. That was a dude. That's the, their package ridiculous. That went up, dude. I saw some YouTube videos of the you know of last year model. I, shoot, I paid what they what I paid for a lariat. Uh, I paid I paid for that Lariat. What you could get a get a limited for last year. Then it went up ten grand on them trucks, dude. Yeah. In a year. Man, yeah, they hide yeah. though. Yeah, I like man, they and selling them too. I like dude, I lost two in, in, in twelve hours. I was like, how in the world? They going like hot cakes. It can't, can't get no super duty. Hey, they well, can't even get one. So now here, I mean, you probably good Texas somewhere. You know, out there where it's truck country, you probably can get one. But. Right, right. 
By the time you pay shipping, you know, two grand to get it shipped to Knoxville, you might well just bought one local. Locally, if you go out there and take three, four days off to go get it, you don't leave them jacked off a damn right. you know, a bunch of money. Yeah, yeah. You're going to lose that money. Well, the boss man said he'd give you Friday, but he don't know about Thursday. Well, Thursday was was okay. I mean, that, that was that was open. The Friday was not open. Hmm. You know, then I had to get back on Sunday. So I was like, ah, hey, you know, it's one of them things, man. It's, yeah. My job a little different than yours. You kind of kind of got yours figured out. Mine, they, they want to know where everything you need to do all year long in November. Cause you know we got so many guys now, man. That, that, I mean, by December, end of December, man, all the days for that that preceding year is took up, man. So it's like that's why I said, shoot, everything red. Yeah. You know, you either got call in or play like you got the you got the virus or something. Right. Where you, uh, yeah. Where you can get off, play, play sick. You know, they kind of work with me sometimes. Watch them or something I gotta do. I uh, oh. I put mine in on November though, so my not November. I put mine in in a February, so uh, yeah, yeah, for both of the yeah. days. I yeah, so they got to be in at a particular time. But like I said, if you need a day right. off, I mean, if something comes up, a family reunion, a that gum, you know, uh, uh, you know, like AE on coming. If you got to take off or something, you just got to take off, you know. Right. Uh, yeah. But I know yeah, you. I know you're too late for me. Yeah. Yeah. February too late for me. And a bunch yeah, of them's gonna ride down and just hang out in Panama City for that weekend. Yeah. And then come on back Sunday, like you said. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Mm. If you let me do it. Yeah. And I'll uh, swing by and say hi to everybody. Yeah. 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 I got a truck now, so I got I ain't gotta go rent nothing. So renting nothing ain't you know what I'm saying? I got my rental. Right. Alright you guys, hit that like button, subscribe. Hit that notification and personalize it. <laughs>